everybody I hope you're having a nice day so this is a first I'm filming this on Friday today so the day that you're gonna see it I'm filming it and that's because in our new office we have super super fast um, internet so I can upload it on the same day which is very exciting because normally what happens is I film it the Wednesday or the Thursday before and then I have to upload it overnight um, and because my computer used to be in my bedroom it'd be like doing it whilst I was sleeping which is yeah I'd have to cover the computer with a towel so that the glare didn't wake me up um, but yeah now that computer's in the office and I no longer have an office in my bedroom which is very nice anyway this week has been the first week back at work um, and um, it's gone really well like as you can hear I've got a cold so that's been a challenge that I didn't need um, but I've just gone to bed really early and kept my evenings really easy um, and um, yeah Jasmine's been fine mum looked after Jasmine yesterday that went well and today it's Matt's day um, but I've been doing quite short days so I sort of finish work around three o'clock sometimes four um, so for this week certainly I want to do that so I can see her and um, yeah so I'm filming this I'm trying to be quite quiet because she's sleeping having her first nap at the moment so I'm filming this and then I'm going to dash off to work um, and edit it um, and I've also got to do some interviews today because we're hiring a new part-time person so it's going to be another busy day anyway I'm here to show you my fabric haul so I have got my sewing mojo back it took me all of two days to be back at work and see all the gorgeous fabrics and see all the gorgeous things that the rest of the team have been making and yeah I want to make stuff so I knew it would come back to me and I'm hoping now that I will be able to do a bit in the evenings um, and even maybe um, at work I might pinch an hour here or there we'll see so I've got quite a lot now everything pretty much is separate because that's what I feel I need and actually when I've been getting my outfits ready the day before, so sort of ready to go for work, it sounds silly, but I don't actually have that much. Because I'm still breastfeeding one of the feeds, so we've basically switched, so I'm sort of doing a combination of formula and breastfeeding at the moment so that I can work. And um, one of them, the three o'clock feed, I'm breastfeeding, so either I have to be back for then, or Matt or my mum has to bring Jasmine to me in the office so I can feed her. So I still need to think about easy access and also want to look nice for work and actually a lot of the easy access dresses that I made are all summery so um, yeah I've basically been living in the Alex shirt dress um, or doing separates but the problem with the separates is I'm not quite back to my um, I sort of can fit in my old trousers but they're not very comfortable um, because at my waist I'm still about an inch bigger than I was so I want to make some more so I've got a couple of pairs of trousers in here, a um, couple of tops and a dress idea. So yeah, lots of fabric to show you. So let's get started. Stop waffling, Lisa. So first up on the pile is this gorgeous triple crepe, which um, has basically come into the shop uh, whilst I've been away. And it is, you, you will have seen our triple crepe before. Um, they used it on the Sewing Bee book review video to make their uh, pan their pants what are they were they called I can't remember but they're, they're wide leg trousers and um, yeah it's a gorgeous weight it's really heavy I want to I'm trying to drop it Can you see that's sort of how heavy it is anyway it's really heavy it's got a lovely weight to it it's got a lovely texture as well looks very expensive um, and yeah I love this sort of we call it patisserie pink but I love this pink and I'm going to make a pair of empire line trousers so the um, decades of style trousers that I absolutely love they are like I said they are fitting me but it's a bit squishy and I'm not very comfortable so I want to make some with a slightly bigger waist so that um, yeah I can enjoy those again and this fabric is perfect for that so it's nice to have something I think in your wardrobe at this time that isn't a dark fabric so yay for this this triple crepe guys comes in um, lots of different colors so um, yeah and I've actually I can't remember if I've put an order in for some more but if if I don't think we have but if we do need to I will so there's always we basically it's a stock fabric so we have it in all the time and sometimes a color runs out but we always get it back in so it's worth asking us if you're looking for a color but that that's a new one next up is my expensive fabric this is a beautiful silk oh, so gorgeous now it's i 
I guess it's a silk maracana, it is a silk maracana, I think. It's a slightly bouncier silk maracana than normal than I'm used to. But it's a lovely weight to it and it's a dress weight. It's definitely a dress weight rather than a rather than a blouse weight. And the reason why I can see that is because I don't know if you can sort of see there, but it just it's not thin enough to be a blouse. I mean, it could be, but it's not something like the Anderson blouse. The drapes would just be too bulky. They need to be finer. So um, it's, yeah, it would be lovely as a shift dress. Um, it would be lovely um, as a 1940s wrap dress, which is what I'm going to make out of it. And it would be lovely as, hmm, I'm trying to think of pussy bow blouse. The tie wouldn't work on this. So, yeah. And maybe and even that yeah I think don't bother with if you get this fabric I wouldn't make a blouse out of it I'd make a plain top like a shift dress top or a sleeveless top like that skirts and dresses definitely and definitely the ultimate um, not the ultimate the 1940s wrap dress so which you will guys will see me in so um, you can you can be the judge of whether you think it's good for that but I, I think it will be and um, I just love the colors of this I think it's really pretty so and usually it is a narrow fabric and the agent that we bought it off who's saying that I've never seen silk on such a narrow width like this before um, but fortunately the 1940s wrap dress um, you can make it out of a narrow width fabric so that's fine um, and so yeah normally something like this would be quite expensive per metre but because it's slightly narrower then it's I think we've got it up as £15 a metre but it's beautiful such a gorgeous quality so yeah, delicious fabric there. Next up is this cotton, which I have been, uh, oh, my exposure is quite bright and white, so um, I don't know if you can see the lovely peachy tones. This is a beautiful, beautiful cotton. And I, we bought this on one of my fabric buying trips with Jasmine um, that we went when we went into the shop while so I was on maternity leave to, to meet an agent and I was like let's get this and can we please you know save it because I want to make something out of it when I can sew again guys I'm just going to change this because it's so bright <laughs> I think that's a bit better it's always a problem when I film in the morning because the light comes up over there and then it makes everything super bright anyway here it is again that's better you can see the colours a bit better there so yeah this is just yeah gorgeous cotton a really lovely quality um, and I am going to make a penny um, dress hack out of it. So um, I'm sure most of you saw the video that the team did whilst I was on maternity leave of all their penny versions. And one of them was a tie blouse hack. And I don't want to do the tie blouse, but I just want to do like the, the blouse shirt top that I'll be able to tuck it into jeans or whatever I'm wearing, trousers. And yeah, I just thought this was a gorgeous fabric. And then I can wear it with a little cardi so that I can get wear it in the winter. So yeah, love this fabric. If it was a different time of year, I'd be making a dress out of this for sure, but I'm just, I did want to make a penny dress out of it, but I just think you're not gonna wear it this time of year like that, so. I'm tempted to put some aside though for next summer. I'm not meant to be doing that though because I've got so much fabric and because I didn't sew that much this summer, I don't want to start bringing fabric home again like I used to. It's gonna take some restraint. Um, now, this is a lovely, very autumnal, tumnal, tumnal uh, jersey. Um, it's this lovely navy base, it's a viscose jersey, and it's got lovely, like, rust color, dark mustard color uh, leaves on it. Could it be more autumnal? I think not. So, I want to make a molly top out of this, um, I think. Yeah, I do. Um, because that is also something that I feel is missing in my wardrobe is just some basic molly tops and because on my maternity leave days I'm just pretty much living in that kind of thing with jeans so I just wanted to have some nice ones because um, I've only got two and one of them is currently on a mannequin at the shop so I need to just pinch that back so that's what I'm going to do with this one and then gone gone very French nautical Classic stripe, red, lovely. Just think that, red stripes and denim jeans. Can't go wrong. Big, nice, chunky navy cardigan with it as well. Perfect. So, I've also got, I was thinking about this, I have never worn them, they've stayed in the shop, but the Francine jackets, um, we've got two samples, the ones that show on the website, and usually I keep one sample and wear it, 
but with this it was such a popular class we were running it out of both shops all the time so they needed both samples and now um, as often the way is after the sort of first year of a class it tends to you know not be as popular because a lot of the customers have been and done it so we don't run it at both shops every single month so we only need one sample <coughs> excuse me so there is one sample up for grabs and it's navy and it's got gold buttons on it and I think that would look really cool with this and that would be quite a nice work outfit so skinny jeans and brown boots and then a molly top and then the Francine jacket yes I'm gonna go and pinch that jacket and then next it's not a particularly exciting fabric but it's an oldie and it's a goodie and it's what I'll need in my wardrobe this is a stretch cotton um, in our classic black and we've also got it in navy and we've stocked this for ages and I have had a pair of um, ultimate trousers made out of this in navy in the past but I've no idea where they've gone but I want to wear, wear want to make a pair in this black so that I've got some ultimate trousers to be wearing at the moment so I'm going to make them a bit longer so that they're not ankle grazing because I'll probably be wearing them with boots um, I might make them a bit skinnier for that reason because they will look a bit funny if they're not tapered down properly. Poppy, stop it. I'll show you Poppy in a second, barking. Not really barking, Poppy. There's not even a proper bark. Um, so yeah, ultimate trousers. So if I can get all of this done, no, no. If I can get all of this done, I will have lots of nice things to wear in November. So I'm happy about that. And already I'm thinking about what I'm gonna make in November as well. Poppy, sorry. Why are you doing that, Pops, Hey, eh? Who are you barking at? There's nobody there. Is it just the neighbors going to work? Mm. I don't know if you've, I've told you this, but there's a dog in the flat below us and the two of them just set each other off. It's so annoying. And the dog below us, I have to say, is even a little bit more yappy. I mean, Poppy's pretty yappy, but the dog below us is a bit, yeah, a bit more intense and gets left on his own a bit more than Poppy would. Um, Poppy obviously gets to hang out with us all the time now. So, yeah, that dog's a little bit more on edge and barking. And that, yeah, at like in the middle of the night, they set each other off and it drives us mad. Hey, right. She's calmed down. <laughs> no. Anyway, guys, that is it for this week. Um, so, yeah, tune in in a few weeks for, to see those makes. Coming up, though, in October, October, oh, yeah, I'm speaking really poshly. What happened there? Um, next week, the team have filmed um, a video. So because you guys were so... Um, pleased with what the video the video they did and loved it so much and were so lovely and commented and uh, blah 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 they were like oh well, we'll do another one which is really nice of them so they've basically done some amazing makes and they're going to report back on them next week so don't um i haven't seen the video and um, they've filmed it and edited and everything without me so um, i'm looking forward to seeing that so tune in for that next week and then i don't know what will be the week after i will be back doing something maybe i'll show you the new hackney office um or maybe I'll have some jasmine makes to show you. I don't know if I will have jasmine makes because this is going to keep me quite busy. But anyway, we'll see. So have a lovely weekend, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.